morning guys and welcome to January. <laughs> I haven't filmed in so long, Lisa which vlogged a day since before Christmas. Um, but today is a busy day to be honest. Um, I've already gotten up and had to do a work presentation. I was teaching a workshop on um, creative writing and creativity. So I did that, I already have that sorted, thank God. I didn't want to vlog beforehand um, doing that because I was actually really nervous, even though this is my fourth one of doing those. Um, and it's the same content, so I don't know why I was that nervous, but it went well. I'm done now, um, but I have to go back to my nine to five job, my main job, working from home today. And I also have to do college work today. Um, the college work I'm doing, I'm doing business and management coaching um course a uh, master's in UCC and essentially I'm doing that through work um my job so I can do some reading during my work hours and do my college reading during work hours but I actually have some lectures this evening as well so it's a busy day to be honest um where I'm trying to juggle a lot of things of like part-time job full-time job college so it's a lot happening but it's fine it's completely fine all of it's by my choice so i can't really give out but yeah um feel free to join me so i hope you enjoy <laughs> it's actually a really beautiful morning which i think is so nice it makes it so much easier um we've had a lot of frost and like snow that didn't stick and things so which is called sleet <laughs> i don't know why i couldn't think of that but it's actually so nice to see the sun you're inside in my press and cupboard if you're English um, at the moment so you're gonna have to ignore the light but um, I didn't get a chance to eat before I did my presentation this morning two reasons woke up too late and I honestly can't eat before I do something nerve-wracking I can't um, I can't so I'm actually not hungry now but I know the second I taste food I will so I'm gonna make up my green juice which is um delightful and have that first and maybe have an oak bar or something small to like calm my nervous system it sounds over the top but i genuinely do think because i take my jobs so seriously and everything i do i have a struggle with perfectionism so a lot of what i do i suppose i try to do to a high standard which means sometimes i can hold myself too accountable to things so yeah i'm gonna do that now and try and calm myself down and do a few emails, work emails and things and maybe do some breathing exercises. Um, I might do some yoga to be honest and some stretches because it's my morning break now. So it's fairly quiet um, in work. So I might do all that and see how I do. I actually did ballet class last night, which was really good. Um, I find it really helpful for my joints, for my EDS, um, which if you don't know, I struggle with Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, hypermobility type which is a connective tissue disorder. But I find ballet based movement is really, really helpful for control, learning control of my joints and building the small muscles around my joints so that I can control my body a bit better. Um, I'm at the very early stages of it, so I'm not good, but it's enjoyable. So yeah, let's do that. <laughs> It's now about half 11 in the morning um, I've done some emails, I finished my juice as you can see, um, I haven't eaten yet but I'm still trying to kind of calm my nervous system. I think if you struggle with anxiety you'll kind of know what I mean before something stressful or 
sometimes it's not just stressful but something with you, when you put expectations on yourself it just takes my body a while to calm down and I like to I used to go against the grain and be like forceful with my body and be like why can't I just adapt whereas now I'm like no I'm gonna need time to relax I'm gonna need time to deep breathe and you know all of those things so at the moment I'm going to I just did some social media posts for my spiritual Instagram and for my work Instagram um, and things so this is my to-do list I need to do some college reading um very soon and I need to do some more work and things like that and work out my schedule in my diary so I'm gonna do that this is the point in the day or early morning when my manager rang me for a catch-up where we go through everything we used to do in person um, and now do basically over the phone. Um, it's just a little catch-up to run through everything both of us have to do that day and deadlines for other projects um, coming up. Okay, so here's what happened. <laughs> I took a nap on my lunch hour and you can tell I don't see anyone anymore. <laughs> but um, I took a nap on my lunch hour and since then it's literally just been back to back emails and answering people's queries. But the work day is pretty much done. I think there's like 10 minutes left. Um, and my car has an NCT tomorrow, so my sister and I are going to drive to town to get my car washed and go to Starbucks drive through because it's the only thing we can do these days, to be honest, for any bit of fun, <laughs> which is a bit sad. But yeah, so I'm going to do something with this. So apparently washing my car and getting it ready for the NCT took longer than I thought. So I'm sitting down, still catching up on work stuff, about to log into my college classes with a Starbucks. So today's been just one of those days. Kind of related to kind of learning to drive, you know, if you can kind of reflect back a little bit, and uh, those of you who are drivers. time when I had to speak and explain um, a point during my week which I found stressful and used some reflective tactics in order to regain control of the situation. Um, I am fine talking in front of this group, I'm fine talking in front of most groups but I'm very much the youngest person in this group so I'm struggling slightly but um, as you can see I'm doing lots of looking down and looking away but it went well in the end.
can talk a lot about that and he spoke that acknowledging the presence of emotions and how can that happen. Our goal is to move them to the next stage. This was the first point in my day when I turned off my camera because I literally could not wait to eat. So I just had to turn it off. So that was my day. Um, I kind of feel like this is the first breath I've taken all day. I look chaotic. I'm actually going to take off my earrings. But um, yeah, college is over. It's now nearly 10 o'clock at night. Um, the last thing I do in the evening... Oh my God, why can't I get this earring off? Um, yeah, the last thing I tend to do at night is, for maybe reading and relaxing and things, is disinfect my desk. Um, I actually do do this pretty much every day, simply because I spend so much time here that it's, you know, it's got to be clean or else it just gets in my head. And I also think I do it nearly as a mental way of shutting off from the day. It's my sign that the day is over because my desk is now clean, fresh for another day, you know, that kind of thing. It's all very psychological, really, for myself. But yeah, that was my day of part-time job, full-time job, college. So tomorrow is much more balanced, just full-time job. Um, and some writing to do, some uploading for Wattpad and things like that. Um, but not too bad, tomorrow's Friday, thank God. So I'm gonna go for a shower now, sort out this and to be honest probably just sit for like half an hour before I get into bed just to try and calm myself down because um, today felt like it was a lot but thank you for watching I really appreciate that and um, feel free to like subscribe I don't mind if you do or don't really to be honest um but yeah thanks so much and I will see you guys again